Russia today represents a world power. Is this country actually mentioned in the Bible? And if so, what role might we see it playing in end time prophecies? Thank you. Yes, Russia figures strongly in end time prophecy and may very well be the leader of a nine country. These nine countries mentioned in Ezekiel chapter 38 and 39. This group of nine will trigger the end time wars leading to the final battle of Armageddon. This battle actually is called the war of Gog and Magog. The first verse about Russia is found in verse 2 of Ezekiel 38. This is what it reads, Son of man, set your face against Gog in the land of Magog, the prince of Rosh, Meshech, and Tubal, and prophesy against him. The first name mentioned, Gog, is of unknown origin. There are so many theories about who or what this name represents. And the more you dig in, the more it looks like someone who wants to hide his identity. Sounds familiar? This Gog may be the evil one himself, who is also called the Prince of Rosh, representing the head of this coalition. In fact, the whole prophecy is addressed to him particularly. God does not address any nations, but Gog himself, as in verse 3, he says, Behold, I'm against you, O Gog. And in verse 14, God asks Ezekiel to speak directly to Gog himself. Therefore, son of man, prophesy and say to Gog. The next chapter is also addressed to Gog and being against, that is, Gog himself. Ezekiel was to say, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against you, O Gog. The name of Gog is mentioned 12 times in these two chapters and seems to be the leader, the spiritual leader. However, the one which comes after him and may actually be may think that he's the leader is Meshech and Tubal. They are mentioned right after him in verse 1. They represent one country. And who actually could be Meshech and Tubal? We can go back to the table of the nations in Genesis 10 to figure out who they are and how they represent that one country, that is Russia. The table divides humanity into three groups, Japheth, Ham and Shem. These were actually the three sons of Noah. We all descend from one of them. Meshech and Tubal are always mentioned together. They are the fifth and the sixth son of Japheth. They are actually situated as far as the land that, that, that they went to occupy. They are situated in the land of Magog, as the Bible says, a land in Asia Minor. And the names of Meshech and Tubal are known actually in history. We can follow the trajectory from even, you know, Genesis 10 up to today. In the late 19th century, archaeologists began to gather these Neo-Assyrian texts dating from as far back as mid-800 BC. These texts placed the name of Meshech named Moshko and Tubal named Tabal, the same place as Magog or that is in Asia Minor. Minor. And this, this territory was occupied by the Scythian after that, which are believed to be the ancestors of today's Russian people. And their geolo uh, geographical location fits the one given by Ezekiel. They come from the north. This is repeated three times. It is found in Ezekiel 39 two. See what it says. And I will turn you around, drive you on, take you up from the remotest parts of the north and bring you against the mountains of Israel. It is also found in Ezekiel 38, 15, where it says that Gog comes from its place out of the far north. Both have the words far north or remotest part of the north, that is the extreme north of Israel. And in the map, the country that is that far north of Israel is Russia, the land of the Scythian, the land of of Magog. And it is so precise that the Russian capital actually is vertically on a map just north of Jerusalem. Did you know that both Moscow and Jerusalem have the same time zone, meaning that one is right above the other, Moscow lying in the uttermost north of Jerusalem. 
In Bible prophecies, Isaiah spoke of Babylon being in the north, while Daniel spoke also of Syria as being in the north. Russia is targeted here in Ezekiel because it is its exact position to the extreme north of Jerusalem. And there are extraordinary coincidences, if we may call coincidence as many do. Like Magog, which also means the Lang of Gog, there is here another play of words for Rosh, Meshech, Tubal, which sounds so much like the names of Russia, Moscow, and Tobolsk. Some have seen the origin of the name Russia in the word Rosh, in the name Moscow associated with the name Meshech, and the, word, the name Tubal connected with Tobolsk in Syria, uh, that is Siberia, sorry. So while there is no historical evidence for this, what I just said, the fascinating connection is that they sound so much alike and their geographical location actually match. All of this, however, should not come as a surprise. Today, Russia is already very involved in the Middle East, right next to Israel. It has two military bases in Syria, right again next to Israel, and it is recognized as an authoritative power in the region. Did you know that back in 2017, not long ago, it was November the 9th, according to Aretz newspaper, Israel asked Russia to help create a 60-kilometer buffer zone at the border on, on the Golan Heights. This request was in an effort to keep the Iranian and Syrian army further away. Russia answered that it would promise only five kilometer buffer zone. But we can see from Israel asking for intervention that, si that Russia has already gained authority in the Middle East. But Russia has been in the Middle East seen even earlier than this. We know that during the Six-Day War in 1967, Russia supplied Egypt and Syria with modern tanks, aircraft, and later missiles. The Egyptian and Syrian armed forces primarily used Russian weapons at the time and employed that ta tactics that is developed by them. And after the Arab countries lost the war, the Russians rapidly made up for the damages and of Syrian and the Egyptian, and they gave them even more Russian weapons. It seems that they cannot wait for the war of Gog and Magog to begin. Today, they, they are supporting and supplying Iran and Hezbollah. The prophecies found in the scriptures warn Israel not to trust the king of the north, as Daniel calls Russia. Today, this country thinks it is so powerful, but the Bible says they are playing actually in the hands of this individual, Gog. The identity of Russia is seen in Ezekiel 38. More information on this subject is given in the studies of the end time on our website under the teaching of end time prophecies.